morning everyone. I've got a very busy day ahead of me. I have an appointment to go to, I have a lunch meeting to go to, uh, so I have to go downtown and it's, it's gonna be a day. So I'm taking you along with me today, but I'm just in the midst of getting ready. I just did my hair. I was, I was laughing because I was gonna wash my hair this morning and do beautiful curls with my Dyson, but I have a yoga class to go to this morning. So I figured, sorry, not this morning, tonight. So I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna wash my hair because that's gonna give me an excuse to either A, not go, or B, um, I'm gonna get my perfectly clean hair, sweaty and gross after yoga tonight. So, slicked pony it is, um, but I'm just about to put my outfit together. Let me show you what I'm wearing. So, I think this is what I'm gonna wear today. So if you will have watched, I think it was my last vlog, I showed you a bunch of new pieces and these two were in there. So this is my Lily Silk um, pleated skirt and the sort of matching silk top and I think I'm gonna wear this today as a little set I think it's gonna be really pretty it's quite hot outside today so I want something that's gonna be really breezy and comfortable to walk around the city in so I think this is what I'm gonna wear I was debating my alame dress um, or my sleeper navy puffy sleeve linen dress but I think I think I'm gonna wear this it's, it's new and I haven't worn it yet so Anyways, I'm gonna put this on so we can style it together and see if it's gonna be the winner. We're gonna give this a full tuck. And I get this question all the time and it's how do I get things to like sit flat? And my trick is, it's not really a trick, I guess you could say, but anyways, is to have the shirt go as long as possible. So right now my shirt is literally goes to like down here, but the trick is just to make sure that the shirt is flat, sitting against your body. Even when I'm wearing shorts or skirts, like my shirt literally might be at the same length as my shorts, but that ensures that it's gonna be smooth. If you get it all crumpled up near the top, it's not gonna look good. So that's sort of my trick. Okay, hair is good. I might need to touch it up before I go. I'm gonna add my Nord Green gold watch, which I love. My poor, um, my other <laughs> Nord Green watch, the original one, I feel like has been so neglected because I've just been loving the strap on this one. So yeah, it's also really nice and comfy because it's not super tight. So you know how like sometimes you wear like metal watches and your wrist swells or something like that if you're out in the heat? Um, because this one naturally fits a little bit looser. It's so much more comfortable to wear. So I really like it. Now we have to decide on fragrance. I think, I think I'm gonna wear Celine. Okay. I'm in between Dark Lady and Celine Parade. I'm gonna, I feel like I haven't worn this one in so long. I don't wanna spray it on the shirt. Yes, it's silk. I know, you shouldn't top, but it's easier. Just a little bit of my gloss, and then I think for shoes and bag, I don't wanna go with dark accessories, so I'm thinking um, I'm gonna do my Fendi Peekaboo and my Valentino Rock Studs in like the lighter color. Okay, so I think this is the combination that I'm gonna do. Super, super classy, but um, it's still gonna be comfortable. And my fragrance fits in here so I can top it up when I'm out and about. I'm gonna get going because I wanna make a pit stop at Holt Renfrew because I need to pick up a top up of my, I'm actually gonna sit down of my deodorant. This is the Salt and Stone Centel and Vetiver. It's so amazing and I'm literally like, I'm out. And um, I had bought mine at Indigo, but I went and they didn't have it. So I'm gonna go to Holtz and see if they have it because I'm literally out like after today. I will have no deodorant for tomorrow. So um, yeah, it's actually been phenomenal for a natural deodorant. It works, like it really helps with smell. Obviously it's a natural deodorant, so it doesn't do a whole lot. Well, it doesn't really do anything for like, sweating 
Um, but when it comes to smell, it actually works. Um, I've tried a few in the past that weren't the greatest, but this one has been the winner. And there's another scent. I think it's like eucalyptus, I think, that I might try as well. But this one literally smells like that famous La Labo fragrance. <laughs> it's, it's phenomenal. So anyways, um, I'm just gonna quickly pack up my bag and run out the door so I can do that for my nail appointment. My nails, I don't know if you can see, they are so long and they're still looking great, even though it's been like over three weeks, but it's time. They, they definitely need some TLC. So anyways, I'm gonna get going now so I can have time to do everything that I need to do. I'm also going to put my crossbody strap on this bag. That way it's easier for me to carry it. Perfect. All right. Okay, let's go. And just to quickly show you my outfit for the day, I've got my lily silk skirt and shirt on. I've got my nude Valentino rock studs and my Fendi peekaboo. I always get so excited when I get to wear her. She's so beautiful. Feeling really, really beautiful. I absolutely love, love this lily silk set. It is so beyond elegant and just comfortable to wear. And then jewelry, just to quickly show you my jewelry, I've got my usual Missouri earrings. I paired it with my chain link necklace and my idol diamond necklace, which I get so many questions on, but it's my jewelry. So, okay, I'm gonna head out the door now because I'm gonna start running late soon. Just getting to the nail salon. I picked up my deodorant. Now, unfortunately, they didn't have the exact one that I had. They had like one that's formulated for like sensitive skin, which technically I do have sensitive skin. So we're gonna try it out. I also brought my book with me because I'm almost done it and I'm a little bit early to my appointment. So I was hoping I'd get a minute to squeeze in some reading. Maybe I'll sit on their little porch and do a little bit of reading because it's the most beautiful day out. So Chris, I did do a French mannequin this time around. I'm gonna leave it for when I go to Spain. Um, but now I'm just gonna walk to a nearby coffee shop called Coco Bar. It's not my favorite coffee shop, but it's nearby. And I'm gonna meet my mom there. I am in desperate need of a little pick-me-up. So I think I'm gonna get a little espresso or perhaps a cappuccino or something just to get me through the afternoon. And then we're gonna head down um, towards Gusto 101, which is an Italian restaurant that I believe is the same owner as Trattoria. And if you've been around, you know I love Trattoria. It's like my favorite Italian restaurant in the city. So I'm very excited to try it out. And we're actually, so let me get, oh, let me get out of here first. <sighs> Sorry, as I was saying, um, we're actually having lunch with the Michael Kors team. Um, Marco and MH, whom are the best people in the world. They are just, they just bring joy to my day every time we meet up with them. So I'm just gonna go have a nice lunch slash meeting with them and it'll be wonderful, but I'm gonna have to put my sunglasses on. It's so sunny, oh my God. <laughs> I have picked up some new bits for my trip to Spain and I can't wait to show you them. I picked up a few things from Missouri because I really wanted some pieces that were gonna be super easy and that were gonna go with a lot of different things. I didn't wanna have to think a whole lot about jewelry on my trip. I mean, I'm, I'm usually pretty easy. I don't, I don't take off what I wear. So I just wanted to add a little bit to my collection. And as usual, don't forget that you guys can get 10% off your order by shopping through my link. So I will leave that in the description box. I'm gonna stop rambling and just show you what I got. So one of my favorite, favorite things to do with jewelry is to mix my metals. I love wearing both silver and gold, um, rather yellow gold. I do it all the time. I think it looks so, so beautiful and so unique. I think it just makes all your jewelry look so special. So when I was browsing the Missouri site, I got sight of the mixed medium collection on Missouri and it stole my heart. So let me show you. Let's start with the ring because you guys know I love rings and I'm barehanded today. So this is the mixed tube ring and it's really, really cool because it essentially has sterling silver 
on the top half and the bottom half is 18k for May and I put it on to show you it looks like that so as you can see you can wear it kind of down the middle where you have the silver on one side and the gold on the other and I love it you could also just as easily wear it like that or even like that but I love being able to have both in sight. For those of you wondering, Sam, how do I stack my jewelry? How do I make my jewelry look good? Having pieces like this, for example, you guys know my watch that has both silver and gold in it. That is the easiest way to make sure that all your jewelry looks great together. So that is why this collection immediately caught my attention. It's the best of both worlds. So to go with the ring, I also picked up the matching earrings. These are the mixed medium tube hoops. And much like the ring, you have both silver and yellow gold. Now, I will 1 million percent still be bringing my pearl hoops because they're my favorite earrings. So I thought I would bring something that was a little bit different, but still really classy, elegant, and simple and comfortable too. Like I can sleep in these um, and just, you know, live life in them. Let me put these on to show you what they look like. There you go. How beautiful are they? I love how elegant and classy they are. They're also super, super lightweight and they're not like weighing down my ears, which is also something I really like about a lot of Majuri's jewelries, especially their earrings, is that they're super, super comfortable to wear. I am expecting to be wearing a lot of slicked back hairstyles, a lot of ponytails, a lot of buns, because of the weather in Spain. <laughs> I picked up a pair of earrings that are a little bit more statement, um, you know, if I'm going out for dinner, but I still wanna feel elegant with my hair like slicked back. So I picked up the mixed convertible link earrings, which much like these earrings and my ring, these have a mixture of both yellow gold and silver. This is what the earrings look like. You can see they're kind of like a chain link style. My favorite thing about these is that they're convertible. If you open up the earring, opens up like this, you're actually able to take this out and you now have a classic hoop. As soon as I saw this, I thought it was ingenious for traveling because you pretty much have two earrings and one and I think that is just brilliant. So anyways, let me put these on to show you what they look like. I have mimicked an outfit that I would most likely wear in Spain just to give you a sense of kind of what I'm envisioning. This is just a simple white dress, but hair slicked back. We have the short little hoops from the mixed convertible linked earrings. And then we have the actual link earrings, which I think looks so, so elegant and beautiful. And I'm not one to wear long earrings, but as soon as I saw these, I loved how simple they were. And especially with my chain link necklace, I feel like they would just look so special. Oh, I love them. And again, it's like a two in one. I love that it's a two in one. I'm a sucker for that, but there you go. Okay, vote in the comments, which one would you wear? The chain link or the single hoop? Anyways, those are the new bits that I picked up from Missouri and I'm so excited to take them to Spain and wear them. And don't forget that you guys will be able to save 10% off your order by shopping through my link, which I will leave in the description box for you guys. So be sure to check that out. Um, I will also be sure to leave my landing page, which has not all, cause I have so many pieces from Missouri, but most of my favorites from Missouri in there. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, it is pretty much the end of the day. So I think I'm gonna head out, pick up some groceries, grab some dinner. I have some salad at home, but I don't really have anything else than the salad. And if you guys watch my vlog, I still don't have Dijon to make my vinaigrette. So I think I might actually pop out to the grocery store pick up a few things for dinner. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready to go to the grocery store and pick up a few things for dinner. I decided against going to the grocery store because it is raining outside. So I'm actually making what Jack and I call Emily bowls, if you remember like, the super popular like salmon bowls with rice from Emily Mariko, is that her, is that her last name? Um, but we do our own twist because I actually grew up eating a variation of what she does, but I grew up eating tuna and rice and it was just tuna and mayo with rice. Um, I know she does hers with salmon and obviously like the little seaweed packs, which I am gonna eat tonight. But um, yeah, it's just funny because I kind of grew up eating a very similar meal. We call them Emily bowls. It's just tuna, mayo, a little bit of sriracha, rice, and the little seaweed packs. And that's my dinner for tonight. I'm a little bit lazy, but 
it's okay, it's delicious. So that's what I'm having for dinner. And then these are the roasted seaweeds that I love. They're from TNT. There's obviously different brands you can buy at the grocery store, but these are my favorite because they're not super greasy. Some of them are too, too greasy, but these are my favorite. Um, this is a brand new pack, so I'm gonna open up one and have it with my rice and tuna. just finished up my skincare because I got sent this new hydro softening lotion and I wanted to give it a try and oh my god it makes my skin it feels so hydrated and glowy um but as you can see I have some quite angry spots up here I think it's just because my period is coming but that's okay <laughs> we're gonna work with it but today I wanted to do full face of clay de peau which I had told you guys about I had opened up the package that I got um, with all the Glade Pro products and I have used most of them already so I wanted to do a full face and see what everything looks like together because all of these products individually are so far really really great so I just want to see how all the products work together and tell you which ones I like and which ones I don't so let's do it I'm gonna start off with my Summer Fridays sunscreen this is new I actually talked about it on my Instagram and so I want to tell you guys about it so this is a mineral sunscreen which i have been on the hunt for because when we go to spain it's gonna be really really hot there's gonna be lots of sun and i don't want a chemical sunscreen whilst i'm there because how chemical sunscreens work is that essentially they can bring heat to the surface of your skin which can cause redness and i already have redness on my cheeks so i'm gonna try and stay away from chemical sunscreens as best as i can and that's also why they're not recommended with people with like sensitive skin redness and even rosacea because they can just bring out that redness even more so anyways, long-winded story, I found this mineral sunscreen. This is the Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30 from Summer Fridays. And um, oh my God, it is so lovely. I'll show you um, just on my hand here. So the consistency is really, really light and it just like melts into the skin. Like, look at that. And unlike most sunscreens, I would say this doesn't have like a super dewy or glowy finish. It's just a very skin-like, like hydrated skin-like finish, which I love. I usually go for like really glowy products, but because all of my other products are already so glowy, I actually quite liked how this um, sat on my skin. There's also hardly any fragrance on this one, which is my only complaint on some of the Shiseido sunscreens that I have been trying out. They're all amazing. They feel amazing on the skin, but the fragrances on them are quite a lot. So anyways, look at that. Just gives a really like hydrated skin finish. And honestly, the price of this compared to some other sunscreens, it's not bad. I think this was like 48 CAD. So wherever you are, it'll be cheaper. <laughs> so anyways, let's get into it. So. Let's start with the Radiant Cream Foundation. Now, this one, I know from when I tried it in the unboxing, it's too light, like look at that. We're gonna cheat and I'm gonna use some of my Jones Road bronzing gel. Yeah, the gel bronzer because it is quite light. Now, I don't know, should I mix it? Or, yeah, maybe I'll mix it into the foundation. I feel like this is cheating, but well, that's all I can do right now. Okay, I'm gonna mix it with this first. Let's see if this gives it better. Oh yeah, that color is way better already. I got this color. I think this is a better match for my skin. You can always bronze things up with bronzer, but I'm going to dip right in there. Okay, it's like nearly invisible on the skin. <laughs> Let's see how good it does at covering up this redness here. It's a very lightweight. I feel like... I don't even have anything on my skin. Can you see it? I'm confused. Okay, I think we need a little bit more. Okay, I only added a tiny bit of this just to, so I'm not changing the consistency up too, too much, but. Okay, there you go, you can see it. I didn't put as much that time. It's so lightweight. I feel like it's not even impacting the glow on my skin. Let's put a little bit up top. 
wow this foundation is beautiful obviously too light i might have to pick up my right shade for spain because it feels really hydrating. I don't feel like I have anything on my skin. I feel like it kind of um, covered up a little bit of that redness. It still didn't cover up my two red spots there, but that's okay. I really love the finish of this. Wow, it's so glowy. Oh my God. And I didn't even have to use a whole lot. Okay, very beautiful. But now we need to match everything. <laughs> Everybody who's been talking about this is absolutely right. This foundation. It's beautiful. It's so, so beautiful on the skin. Okay, let's move on to concealer. I have two different types of concealers. I have the Eye Corrector in 3 Beige. Oh, by the way, sorry, if you're wondering, this is in the shade BF10 Light Buff, um, which is too light for me, but if you're a little bit lighter than me, this will be perfect for you. So 3N, and then this is the Radiant Corrector for Eyes, and I have this one in the shade Beige. So I think this is gonna be more of like a brightener, and this one is more of just like a high coverage concealer. I have heard a lot of people talk about this, so let's try it out. I know my mom really loves this one. So, and I'm just gonna use my little concealer brush. I've heard that you only need a tiny, tiny amount with this product. So I'm just gonna go in with the brush. Okay, I've got some brightening, not a whole lot, but it's definitely got some good coverage. Let's see how well it covers this red spot. Pretty good. Okay, it's pretty good. Feeling bright. Now let's, before we move on to the other one. Okay, let's do some brightening here. This is more of a peachy shade, which is really good for me because peach shades actually cover up my dark circles really, really well. So I'm just gonna go in with the same brush and just blend that in. What I'm already noticing about these products is that you only need like the tiniest, tiniest amounts. A little really does go a long way with most of these products, it seems. So that is a good thing. Wow, that's so beautiful. It hardly looks like I'm wearing any makeup. You know what? I really, really like that. That's really gorgeous. I'm gonna try and bring you in close so you can see all the details and the texture. Like look at how smooth that concealer looks and my skin doesn't even look like I have foundation on it. Sometimes with foundations, you can kind of like see it sitting on top of your skin, which is why I don't like foundation. But look, it's so beautiful. It's so glowy and hydrated. These products just really feel like skin. It's really, really lovely. Okay, let's do the other side. Both of my under eyes are done now. Let's do a little bit of contour now. They don't have a cream contour. I do have the powdered contour bronzer so i'm actually going to just quickly use my westman atelier just a little bit on my cheekbones just to make everything a little bit darker i'm going in with my favorite brush this one is from chanel it's like a stippling brush but i absolutely love it for kind of contour and cream bronzers i find it makes everything really really beautiful and even on the skin and it takes like two seconds to blend out Bronzer is done. I feel like everything is looking a little bit more cohesive now. And this one is one I would really, really recommend to you guys. I've been loving this one. This is in the shade Truffle. Um, and it's just such a beautiful contour. What I like about it is that it actually lasts. A lot of cream products tend to move around your face a lot. Um, for example, I love the Nude Sticks ones, but those last all of like two minutes. <laughs> nude Sticks is great for when you don't need to have your makeup on for like a really long time, but this, Anyways, okay, let's move on. I'm actually gonna set my under eyes quickly. I'm just gonna use my Chanel powder. Just using like the tiniest amount to set my under eyes. I also like to set around my nose because I get a little bit of creasing here every so often and on my chin as well. Let's move on to bronzer. So this is the bronzing power duo in shade one so they do have another shade which i believe is a little bit dark but i went for this one and so far it's wonderful i grabbed my chanel bronzing powder um brush and i'm just gonna dab this on oh wow that blends so seamlessly okay let's do this then some on my nose 
I love this bronzer and something I love about it is that it's not overly pigmented like it obviously has pigment but it's not overly pigmented which means you can really build it up and blend it seamlessly there are some bronzers that are so pigmented as soon as you dip it into the product and you put it on your face you have like a stamp of bronzer on your face I don't like that I like that this one is really really like lightweight and you can just blend it seamlessly into your skin I really love that now you guys know me I'm not a whiz with eyeshadow so I'm just gonna go in I think with the darker color and put a little bit of that as my eyeshadow also I feel like I've been seeing this like uh, what's it called like the latte trend on TikTok, which is like where everything is kind of just like a latte color like brown essentially and I'm like that's that's been my makeup for years because I don't use um, I hardly ever use blush I just I use my bronzer as my eyeshadow and it does create a really like cohesive look but I just I was kind of giggling at the fact that everybody was talking about is this revolutionary trend and here I am just doing it because it's quick and efficient and it always looks good <laughs> but anyways okay absolutely love this bronzer now my handy dandy luminizing face enhancer in shimmering orb wait you guys it's not shimmering orb it's not that's the wrong one <laughs> it's the darker color i always remember that now you guys told me putting a little bit of that on my cheeks love the glow on my nose I don't have any eyebrow gel from uh, Clay de Poe, but I am gonna use this new one from Jones Road. I'm constantly impressed by Jones Road. Um, this is the, the brow gel in Dark Brunette. And unlike Glossier, this brush is actually huge. <laughs> um, but I really like it. Like, look how beautiful. Now this is not the type of eyebrow gel that's gonna like keep your eyebrows intact. It's just gonna help them like go in the right direction and obviously give a little bit of tint, which is something I really, really like because there are so many eyebrow gels, which I can't stand, that like are almost like a, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of like gels your eyebrows down. And I don't like that because as soon as like they get moved or something, your eyebrows are like, uh, like a little wonky. So I always like my eyebrows to be able to move naturally so I can always just kind of like buff them in the right direction and my makeup doesn't look ruined I feel like this one looks darker no yeah but anyways I think we have found something that beats boy brow I can't believe I'm saying that but it is truly truly wonderful I just I love the consistency and I actually love the brush um, I feel like it really does a great job at you know brushing your eyebrows and I will say it comes in a few different shades they also sent me the clear brow gel um, which I'm gonna take to Spain with me as well but I do like the black I find it, it does a really nice job at kind of accentuating your brows um, okay what else do we have here okay last but not least mascara let's do it I'm gonna curl my lashes quickly the first time I used this mascara, I literally ran to my mom. I was at her house and I was like, mom, you have to see this. Like my, I was just shocked. So let me show you. I will stop talking and just, just show you. Okay, are you ready? Let me zoom you in. Look at that. Okay, this is my natural one. And this is with the mascara. It's so beautiful. It just looks like my natural lashes. And I love that so, so much. You also have kind of the top part of the wand. The top half of the wand is kind of more for like volume, which you can do a little bit of that as well. Look at that, it's so good. I just love how natural this mascara is just stunning honestly this is easily like top five mascaras for me it is so so stunning on the lashes it's also a breeze to take off which is something i love and then before we do lips i'm just gonna go in with my codaly mist and get everything mixed together 
Mm. So refreshing. I love this. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with one of my favorites. I have been using this for the longest time now. This is the um, Lip Glorifier. I don't even know what shade this is. Just the pink one. I know they have a couple other shades, but... I actually already had this on, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but there we go. Just gives your lips a really nice, like, hydrated, glossy look. And I love that. Okay, that is the makeup all done. And oh my god, I'm so impressed. It looks so natural and healthy. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin whatsoever. Everything looks blended into the skin seamlessly. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's go through the products. First up, absolutely love this. It is chef's kiss if you're looking for something that like really evens out skin tones and i think you can build this up i just did a really really thin layer and i love how it feels on the skin it is fantastic i couldn't speak more highly of it the concealers i think they're great um i don't think they are my favorite concealers in the whole wide world this one definitely feels a little bit heavier on the skin it's definitely high coverage if you are looking for that high coverage cream product this is for you. This will cover anything you need it to cover. Um, this is lovely, super nice, but I feel like you can find other products that are very similar um, at different price points. I feel like I wouldn't be able to use this just as a concealer on its own. Like for me, I don't think it would provide quite enough coverage. So they're beautiful and they look beautiful on the skin. If you are looking for something like this, they are beautiful. They do look beautiful on the skin and they feel lovely. They don't look like there is a ton of product sitting underneath your eyes. So they're lovely. They are not my all-time favorite products for sure, um, but they are lovely and I will continue to use them. Next, ah, <laughs> what do we have next? The bronzer, I love it. I will be repurchasing this, it is amazing. I love how just light and glowy it is. It also blends into the skin seamlessly. I'm just gonna briefly mention this because I have mentioned it before but this is the luminizing face enhancer i love it i still use it every single day it is so beautiful on the skin just gives that beautiful like natural glow without being like too shimmery so i love this um next up we have the brushes actually i have to say brushes are so important i think having good brushes to do your makeup makes a world of a difference um, and I've tried various different um, kind of like under eye concealer brushes and I really really like this one this one's also really good like if you need to spot conceal so I really like this one and I also really really love this one I don't always use brushes to put on my foundation I usually just use my hands but this one is fantastic I really really like it I feel like this is my conclusion after years of trying out different brands I will say a lot of these luxury brands like Chanel and Clé de Peau, they do really, really great makeup brushes. Like really, really great makeup brushes. And no one really talks about them. Yes, they're expensive, but also brushes are something that I personally keep in my makeup vanity for a really, really long time. And so I find that the higher the quality they are, the better they withstand the test of time and washes and uses. So I actually really, really would recommend these brushes and also this is the light coverage one. There's a higher coverage one if you're someone who likes like a more high coverage foundation look. So that's that. Now we have the mascara. I love it. It's my new favorite. I've been using it every day. I really, really love it. Um, I love how natural it looks on the lashes. I love how easy it is to take off. It is just my new bestie. <laughs> Pricey, but she's my new bestie. <laughs> and i think that's it am i forgetting anything i don't think i'm forgetting anything there you go that's a full face of clay de po. absolutely love it couldn't recommend these products enough i will link them down below for you guys if you want to check them out anyways i'm gonna get on with my day and i'm gonna get dressed and ready for the day because i have a lot to do today i just finished getting dressed now i'm just adding some final touches to my outfit i think i'm going to swap out some of my jewelry. Now I wanna wear these little guys that I showed you yesterday. Now, I think the front is technically supposed to be the silver side, but I kinda of wanna see if I can make them the gold side, if I can like put them in backwards. I've never done this before. <laughs> Wait, does that look silly or does that like actually work? What do we think? I don't know, I can't tell. Let's do it the other way. I might actually, I actually think I like the silver side today. 
so far. All right, earrings are on. Going to add my new ring, although maybe I could do it on this finger like that. Or I could do this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I've got my new ring on this hand, and then I've got my Charlotte diamond ring, and then my tiny little ring band or diamond band right there. And then I think because I've got some silver on me today, I'm actually going to wear my silver Nord Green watch, which I will actually leave my discount code for you either on the screen or in the description box if you're looking to pick up a, a new watch because I absolutely love this one. Like that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put these little guys away. And then for fragrance, I'm going to go with my Caudalie um, Soleil de Vigne. This one is really, really nice because it's really light. It's not heavy. Although, I really want to pick up the purple bottle so they're all kind of color coded. But my favorite body wash from Caudalie is the purple one. And it smells like almost like a men's fragrance. I know, surprise, surprise. But this one smells like summer in a bottle it's a little bit sweeter a little bit fresh but i like that they're really light um so on days like today that i don't feel like wearing heavy fragrances this is what i'm wearing super super nice if you like a more like feminine fragrance i have to show you this dress that i got from h&m it was 25 dollars. 25 yes you heard that right 25 canadian dollars it was i think regular price well, i don't know how much it was regular price but it was in the store and i thought it was going to be like around 70 and then i go to check out and she's like that'll be 25.65 and I was like, sorry, say that again. It's like, did I hear that right? Yes, $25. Let me show it to you. This is the dress. It is a beautiful like maxi dress, big billowy sleeves. It's got a beautiful kind of detail here with little um, drawstrings that you can close up. And then I love this neckline. It's nice and open. It is low cut, but I mean, I'm just wearing my like skims bra underneath and it's super comfy. I love it so much sadly i don't know if this dress is still available i will link down either this dress or similar options and like similar prints and stuff down below for you guys but i think it's like completely sold out because i got it on sale so i think they were just like clearing it out but i feel so beautiful in it but anyways i'm going to go make breakfast now i have also realized that and this is very unfortunate news because i love eggs but i think eggs trigger my eczema and you guys know that i've been dealing with eczema for Oh my god, it's been a couple years now, I think. And it mainly targets the tops of my hands. I sometimes get it on my legs as well, but it's mainly my hands. And I always thought it was like stress, anxiety, which I think it still is like related to that. Um, and it was like this random video that popped up on my TikTok that was pretty much just saying like, these are foods that could trigger eczema and when I read that I was like oh I thought of a family friend of ours she had worse eczema than I had but for her it was tomatoes so I, I immediately thought back to her and I was like oh man like it, what if it's a food for me right so I looked at all the foods and like most of them were like dairy like some gluten and then it came to eggs and I was like oh my god like I, I hope it's not eggs because I eat eggs every single day sometimes twice, even three times a day. So then I was like, oh, maybe, maybe it's tomatoes. I think I'd rather it be tomatoes because I don't eat tomatoes as much. Anyway, so I started playing around with my food. And at this point, I'm still like testing it, but I'm almost positive it's eggs. Every time I eat eggs, my eczema flares up on my hand. As soon as I've like, you know, not eaten them for two days, it starts to die down. Also in reading, um, alcohol is supposed to be a trigger, but because I was drinking a lot in Scotland and my eczema completely disappeared, I can kind of rule out the fact that it's not alcohol that triggers my eczema. Maybe it would have been a better thing if it did, if it was, but anyways. Um, it also doesn't seem to be tomatoes. It might be, but I don't really eat tomatoes a whole lot. So that's not a big issue. Dairy, I don't eat a whole lot of dairy. I mean, I have it here and there and that could also be a trigger, but it, I think it's eggs. I'm so sad. So anyways. I just wanted to share that in case any of you are dealing with eczema and you haven't considered your eczema being triggered to a like food allergy, um, which can happen in adulthood. Like it's not, doesn't have to be from, from birth. That's my, my current eczema journey. 
Um, and so now I never know what to have for breakfast and I'm kind of stuck having oatmeal for breakfast. I'm very much like a savory breakfast person. Like I like salty things, but without eggs, what do you eat? Like, I'm like, oh, I'll have toast. But toast without eggs is boring. And then I'm like, I mean, I guess it could be like avocado toast. But anyways, I'm kind of at like this like, I don't know what to have for breakfast anymore. And I don't like, I used to like, I literally would go to bed looking forward to my breakfast with eggs, but no. It's so sad because, yeah. Anyways, that's my new eczema discovery. I think it's triggered by eggs. Anyways, let's go make breakfast. I think I'm just gonna make oatmeal today um, until I figure out, but uh, yeah. If you guys have any breakfast ideas for me that are specifically savory, I'm fine having like a smoothie and oatmeal and stuff, but I always crave like salty food in the morning. So yeah, okay. Turn on some lights. Let's make some oatmeal. I actually like making my oatmeal with almond milk, but I ran out, so I'm just using my Sprout, but almond milk is my milk of choice when it comes to oatmeal. I need to go get more groceries. I am also so sparing with my um, cinnamon because, um, now, before I tell my story, I will say I am the least picky eater ever. Like, I love all food. I'm so happy to try everything. But when I was around like eight or nine, my mom, dad, and I, we went to the mall and we got Cinnabon. And of course, my eyes were bigger than my tummy. So I was like, I want the large Cinnabon. I ate the whole thing and then I felt so, so sick. Anyways, I haven't been able to eat Cinnabons since then. And the smell of Cinnabon literally makes me nauseous. And I've moved, I've, I've gotten better with it because for the longest while, like even just the smell of cinnamon would make me like nauseous. I can now eat a little bit more cinnamon, like that has to be like real cinnamon, but that like fake cinnamon smell makes me like gag a little. <laughs> There's a little fun fact about me and every time people are like, oh, we're having Cinnabons and everyone's so excited. I'm like, oh, really? Like, I always feel like a party pooper, but it's not my fault, okay? Like I just, I used to love them to the point where I literally made myself sick. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna make this sit down and eat this and find also what toppings I can put on this. Maybe some frozen blueberries. I do love putting frozen blueberries in my oatmeal. I think it's so yummy. Mm -hmm. 